Now, in this video, we are going to take up one more problem on projections of line. The problem reads as, the top view of a line capital BQ is 70 mm and front view is 60 mm. The end capital Q is nearer to both HP and BP than the end P and 15 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections of the line if the distance between the end projectors is 50 mm. So this is the problem. How to solve this? Let us see. So here he has given the front view and top view and one end of the line is given. The important thing what you need to do is MQ is nearer to both HP and that uh, nearer to HP and VP than the NP. That means Q is nearer to and P is away from VP and HP. And he is also given the distance between the end projectors. So it, it's a quite a simple uh, problem. We will see how it will going to be considered. So here, this is the first thing, the end capital Q, so because NQ is nearer to both HP and VP, so the P should be away from HP and also away from VP. So NQ is uh, 15 mm above HP, so which is the 15 mm above HP, so that is from this point to here, this is the 15 mm above HP. When you look from the front view, that image will go into false on the vertical plane, so you mark that point as Q dash, which is 15 mm above HP. And similarly, when you look from the top view, you can see the distance in front of VP, which is 20 mm. So, which is the distance? That distance is this point. From this point to here is the distance. When you look from the uh, top view, that image will go into false on the horizontal plane. You mark this point as small q and here it is capital Q. So, you got this point. Then the next point what you need to do is, I want to find the distance between the end projectors. He has given the distance between the end projectors in front view and also in the top view. When you look from the front view, the distance between the end projectors that Q dash and Q will going to be 50 mm with respect to this vertical line and you draw a one more vertical line here. Similarly, with respect to the top view also, from this line you measure 50 mm and draw a vertical line here. And he says, and uh, he says the front view is 60 mm. So, front view, that means uh, the image will going to be on the vertical plane from Q dash, you measure a distance of 60 and cut an arc. So, on this end projector line, so you got P dash, so now we got the locus of Q. Similarly, uh, on this end projector line with Q as center, take the radius of 70, cut an arc, so you are going to get P, so you have got the locus of P. When you project these two, you can see we got the line in space. So this is the line what we are talking about in space. Where so uh, this front view line will going to be directly onto this P dash. And when you look from the top view, this top view line will going to be P on this line here. So this is the locus of Q. Uh, sorry, locus of P in the top view, and this is the locus of P in the front view. So this is how you will be able to get the actual position of the line which is in space now. So how to get this on the drawing? So first we are going to draw the XY line and you mark VP and HP. So from XY line you measure 15 mm above HP that is this distance that will be seen in the vertical plane. This vertical plane is above XY line. So from this point you measure 15 mm and draw a horizontal line. Similarly, from the same point, you measure the distance of uh, in front of VP. Where is that in front of VP? It is on HP. So when HP is rotated, HP will come down. So from here, you measure 20 mm and draw your horizontal line. Consider any point and draw a vertical line or vertical projector and you mark this point as Q dash and capital Q and you mark this point as Q, as small Q and capital Q here. So you give the distances of 15 and 20. Then he says the distance between the end projectors in the front view is 50 mm and the distance between the end projectors in the top view also 50 mm because the distance between the end projectors is seen in both in the vertical plane and as well as in the horizontal plane. So from, X, uh, from this end projector line you measure 50 mm and draw a vertical projector from, to the both HP and VP parallel to the projector Q. Then, he is given that the front view distance is 60. So, what is the front view? The front view point should lie on this end projector line. 
So from Q dash, you measure a distance of 60, cut an arc on this vertical projector, you mark this point as P dash, then join Q dash P dash with a dark line. So now you got the locus of Q in the locus of P here. It's not Q, it is the locus of P in the front view. And here again from P from Q, you measure a distance of 70 and cut an arc on this end projector line so that you are going to get small p and this will going to be the locus of p in the top view. So now you got both front view and as well as the top view. So now what I need to do, I need to find out the true length. So to find the true length, what I should do now? So you have the line in space that is qp. So with q as center, taking the radius of pq, you draw an arc. Why? Because I want to find out the true length in HP. That means the line has to be parallel to HP. So Q is in above HP by 15 mm. So this P is above HP by this distance now. I don't know what is the exact distance, but you are going to get this part. So uh, the, uh, with Q as center, taking the radius of PQ, you rotate the P, P till what? Till P will going to become above HP by 15 mm. So that is what we have done here. So that QP1 will going to be parallel to HP. Where you can see the parallel to HP, you can see the distance above HP by 15 mm here and P1 should also be above HP by 15 mm. So that you can see only when you look from the front view. So when you look from the front view, what happens to the image? The image as we are rotating the line in space, the point P dash is also being get rotated in vertical plane. With Q dash as center, taking the radius of P dash to the dash, sorry q dash p dash you draw an arc such that both q dash and p1 dash are above hp by 15 mm therefore the line is parallel to hp since the line is parallel to hp so you are getting the true length in the horizontal plane so where is the image on the horizontal plane by looking from the top view you can see that that image will go to falls on the horizontal plane here so this is the line which will going to be the true length in the horizontal plane. Why it is the true length in the horizontal plane? Because the corresponding front view is parallel to xy in the vertical plane. The front view line is parallel to xy, therefore its corresponding top view which is qp1, that is qp1 will be in true length. You mark this point as p and you mark this point as q. Now how do I be able to do that now with q dash as center by using the compass with q dash as center taking the radius of q dash p dash you draw an arc such that the line q dash p1 dash is parallel to xy line in the front view so both q dash and p1 dash is above hp by 15 mm that's what we have shown here both q dash and p1 dash is parallel to xy line in the front view so this is above hp by 15 and this is also p by 50 that is what you got here now so this is the line which is parallel to hp in space when you are uh, looking from the top view that has been projected onto this line so this is the line what you get so then from here you draw your vertical projector till it touches the locus of p in the top view then you mark this point as p1 and this will going to be capital p then join qp1 with a little bit thicker than the xy line so this will going to be the true length in the vertical uh, true length in the horizontal plane because the line is parallel to hp now similarly i want to find out the true length in the vertical plane to find the true length in the vertical plane the line has to be <coughs> parallel to bp with q as center taking the radius of qp by holding at the point q that P which is now in front of EP by this distance you have to make that line in front of EP you, you have to rotate this point P till that P is in front of EP by 20 mm so that QP2 will be parallel to VP. once it is parallel to VP, you are getting the true length in the vertical plane how do I do that when you are rotating in space what happens the corresponding image in the top view so you have the top view here that p is here now so as you rotate this p such that p is in front of vp by 20 mm similarly 
in the horizontal plane that image p is also being getting rotated such that the p2 and q both are in front of ep by 20 mm then only the line will going to be parallel to vp since the line is parallel to vp therefore in vertical plane you are getting the true length that is what we have got here so i am projecting from here and then i projected to this point so that it will going to cut the locus of p in the front view you want this point as p2 dash so this will going to be capital p and this will going to be capital q so this is the line which we are talking about it is the true length in the vertical plane why it is called the true length in the vertical plane because its corresponding top view is parallel to x y line that is the reason why you are getting the true length so how to do this now in the uh, orthographic view with q as center by by taking the compass uh, with a radius of qp you draw an arc such that both q and p2 are in front of vp by 20 mm now the line is parallel to x y line in the front view so which is that line that line is this which is that line in space that is this line which is in space what we are talking about so once the line is parallel to vp so by looking from the front view that line will be the true length in the vertical plane so that is what so from here you draw a vertical projector till it touches the locus of p in the front view then mark this point as p2 dash and join q dash p2 dash with little bit thicker than the xy line and you mark this point as capital p because the top view line is parallel to xy so therefore in the front view you will be getting the true length so this will going to be the locus of p not the q and here also you have got the locus of p it's not the q so this is how you will be able to solve this particular problem uh manually and also you can be able to analyze it so what is how do i know that my problem is right both p dash and p will going to lie on the same plane and the other thing is this is the front view line that is p dash to dash because the top view is inclined you know this is the top view because the front view line is inclined you know that the true length in the front view because its corresponding top view what is the corresponding top view the front view line of true length is q dash p2 dash the corresponding top view will be q p2 it is parallel to x y similarly you know this true length in the uh, top view because its corresponding front view q dash p2 dash is uh, sorry you know this this is the true length in the horizontal plane that is in the top view it is in the true length because its corresponding front view q dash p1 dash is parallel to x y so this is how you will be able to analyze the drawing and also solve by using the uh, manual sketch thank you